Hey guys, I'm Maxi, and this is our Radiant Jet Main Things. Oh. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. So in this first clip, I get a pretty fast ace, but I want to break down how and why it worked. So before the round started, I had a plan. I planned on sitting up on this little corner, go for one, and then dash out so me and my team can retake his 5. These guys have a really aggressive comp, so fighting the neutral zones that I always talk about hasn't really been working the best, so we gotta adapt. This Neon has been uber confident, so I'm glad I can start punishing them and make them think twice before entering sites like this again. There's a smoke coming in on A main, and it really doesn't get any easier than picking off people who are running through a smoke blindly. You'll see exactly why in just a second. I toss this smoke right here to give me a little bit extra space to work with to go even wider and to possibly fake that I could be dropping towards Jenny. Do whatever you can to make him overthink. Even if it's just like a second pause, a lot of times people just lose that focus and it's easy for you. Also, don't be afraid to hold these smokes. They are at a severe disadvantage going through these. To help you guys visualize it, think of the entrance of A-Main as like this imaginary line. Look at all these different spots that they have to worry about that they're in danger from. Only thing that can really punish you is a pop flash, but just, we're all young. Man, you gotta just turn from it. Or at the very least, position yourself so you can tuck in a cover or something so you just don't get caught with your pants down. This next clip is essentially the same smoke principle. So that clip is kind of clean, and I know it's a Sova clip, but sometimes you gotta fill. Sometimes people are just too fast with the jet insta-lock. So the enemy team is doing a full B execute with this astral wall and everything. Dart the run out, and I see this KO towards lane right here. I let my teammate handle that while I try to handle the rest of the people flooding out through the smoke. My teammate's on site by himself, and I don't like the odds of anybody holding a site 1v5, so I go in and try to help as much as I can. The same imaginary line applies here. Look at the multitude of angles that they gotta process and clear, well all I have to do is just point and click. A lot of times people guess wrong, a lot of times there isn't good communication going on, and a lot of times people just have to adjust across here far too much, and it's just too easy for you. So set yourself up just like that. Short B trip, dash in. Yeah, oh, okay. She just dashes and like clicks me. You gotta, you gotta be in the middle. Planted. Jet's back site for sure. Yeah, yeah just back site. It is like close here. Give him a flash. Yeah, I'm flashing high. Hold on, here we go. Close right, close right, close right. One enemy Back site, nice. Right. Wait, that flick was nuts. When it comes to spamming through smokes, I don't particularly look for the kills, I just pretty much spam and clear prominent angles that people can be holding. Remember how I mentioned earlier that the only thing you gotta be wary about when holding smokes is people flashing through? I said at the very least, position yourself so you can tuck so you aren't caught in the open blinded. So I'm pretty much countering the basic fundamental of positioning. So long story short, don't hold obvious angles through smokes too long or I'll spam you. Do it this way, stay dynamic and keep re-peeking it so the odds of getting spammed are in your favor. After I get the spam kill, our entire A-Link gets flashed by their omen. I'm worried that they might make a play to fight our A-Link with that flash, so I push forward instead of falling back because close quarters is the only way that you can see people while paranoid. I want to throw a wrench in their plan, so I want to fight through the flash in the smoke to make it harder for them, and then I catch the omen in transition. That's two picks in our favor, so I'm sure that they're feeling the round slip through their hands. So before they can think of a play, I ask my teammate for a flash so we can retake together and stomp them out before they can even think about repositioning. I lead the charge and dash into my own smoke and luckily dodge this Ares spam. In this next clip, I'm going to show you how to completely jet diff jet operator abusers. Maybe pushing in Nice. I beat myself for you guys. Oh, I'm the gun. Alright. Ready? Open. Three. Come here, on. We're smoking spawn. We're smoking spawn. Rule number one of being a jet main, never let these MFs know your next move, not even your teammates. To catch stream snipers and double agents off guard, I go on three instead of go and I meow out and it works out magically. Seriously though, sniping on attack side is severely underrated. I call for my breach to flash early so I can push him off this angle so I can post, but I catch him in transition because he was too wide and ambitious. After that I sit down young Stewie 2k and you know the rest. Let's go there B. They might have on B or something. Yeah, yeah. Well we have plenty of Utah. We have a flash and a drone. We can just a drone early. Yeah, I think you drone from here. here early. I can smoke on top of my thing. Okay. There's a Viper ult too, really juicy plan. 
After you throw your util turbo, you can dip back and maybe go on a late flank if you'd like. Alright, we're gonna push flank vision. Just we don't have anything, so just I'm gonna do it. Top top and and nice. Look at this dumb newbie bozo. Don't be like this guy. Dude is calling me scared because I played smart. If somebody is opping, the easiest way to tilt little dorks like this is to push him back with utility. I smoke right here to cover my updraft so I can get a nice vertical angle to help my teammates. We know the guy's opping, so I just want to limit any chance that I can get picked off. Even if it's like a slim chance that he has to hit a really nice shot, I want to limit that completely. After that, I pay close attention to the minimap and I see one guy standing tall on top of yellow, so I can only assume he has an operator if he's holding a risky angle like that. If you notice right here, I see him repositioning, so I use that timing to swing wide to peek and fight from the opposite angle that he expects me to come from and he gets set right down nice flash good fucking eye i mean taking this guy's up too more. put down your wallet again Nice, first one. Wait, this is nice. Nice one's first one. No, I suck. They smoke garage window, I think they're trying to do right, I'm smoking drugs. In this round, I get a 4k, all thanks to the nerd crosshair. My KJ gets owned in garage, so I'm thinking they're doing a C split, so I pop dash and peek long in hopes of equalizing it into a 4v4. I only saw one guy, so since I have my dash still pop, I just stay tall and just wait for somebody to try to peek me. Thank you. <gasps> they're gonna try to res. Just didn't get the orb. You will not kill my ally! <gasps> oh, yes, <laughs> dumbass head. Ugly ass head. Wait. I died this round, by the way, Maxi. So. Okay. <clears throat> what the f should a cross your dickhead? Cut 30 seconds glasses. left. Having towards Oh my god. 120 on him. He's right next to One him. enemy remaining. Back sight. Spike down B. There's only 20 seconds here, so I go for a high risk, high reward play. I still have my jet dash at my disposal, and I know this brim is one hit from dying, so I'm gonna peel him, dash out, and let time do the rest. I'm gonna kill with that. He is very Ten gorgeous to left. me. Back side? Can't plant, can't. Wait, I like. He can plant. Yes. <laughs> Remember, time is his greatest adversary here. I make sure not to commit to any fights here. I keep my shapes fast, making sure no crouching is being done. I want my max speed and my movement right here. I'm just peppering him with shots, trying to apply pressure just because from his POV, he can never really know when I'll actually commit to a fight. So I just wait until it's too late for him to plant the bomb, and it's GG. If you made it this far into the video, I just wanted to show my gratitude and thank you guys so much for the support that I've been receiving lately. Let me know if there's any other agents that you guys would like for me to tackle, or if there's any challenges that you think would be fun for me. It's been extremely fun reading some of your guys' coaching code word responses. I'm already in the process of picking some people out right now, so I'm really excited. Also, let me know if you guys would be interested in coaching content too. I have some experience, and working it out for content has been the tricky part, but it doesn't hurt to keep trying. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a lovely day.